Wait. I know you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Wait. All right. I know you. You're making a mistake. The only mistake was you showing your face. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. Okay, but also, I'm the Jarl's Thane. I'm actually really cool. In fact, I'm so cool, I have this, like, very important document that I got. Don't worry about my criminal record. Just just trust these documents. They're completely normal and unaltered. <laughs> When we had last left, the last Dragonborn, the Civil War had finally come to Whiterun. Yes, Jarl Balgruf had to make a choice and chose decisively to stick with the Empire. And it was just immediately then that the fucking Stormcloaks decided to show up. Chaos ensued in the city streets. People were slain. There was much violence and much death. It was horrible. It was sad. But thankfully, the last dragonborn was there to the carry out the violence and death. And, and then also did some cloak and dagger work for Rika. And now he it was time to return boy, some very important paperwork to her. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Zoop. There we go. Decide to put us out here for the opening instead of inside the in. desert. The north wind. Because they were just going the fucking buck wild on the f like little flute or clarinet or whatever. The recorder. Okay. Let's head on over. Let's see how this goes. There. I'm assuming we won't just immediately have to go back to solitude after doing this, right? <laughs> that would be pretty bad, but I feel like. Oh, hey. What is this over here? What the fuck is this? Never oh shit, it's a scavenger. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Go. I mean, is there like. Oh shit, is there like a law against scavenging? You know? Like, does that exist in the world of the Elder Scrolls? Like, I know in real life it's it's pretty frowned upon and everything, right? But in the Elder Scrolls world and all that, like... Like, if I go down to look at these bodies and shit, like, none of this is showing up as red. Maybe they're just, like, super aggro about it? I don't, I don't know why they... Like, <laughs> as soon as someone sees them taking it, they get upset, like... Yo, dude, I take, like, all my shit. <laughs> I take all my shit off of dead people, right? Sometimes I'm the person that made them dead. Most of the time, I'm that person. Oh shit, I tried to look at their bod, but... Instead, you went atop Metal Mabel. Oh well. What can you do? Let's haul ass on over this way. Have a look. Oh shit. Oh shit, yeah, these fucking bandits are always out here, huh? You know what, let's take care of them. It's been a while since we cleared this little bandit zone. Oh fuck. Let's get off so that way we can do a little bit extra. There we go. Good. Run your ass down. Do we have a black soul gem? Let's find out. There they are. Nope. Okay. What do you have? A little bit of money. Okay. Let's see. Speed on over here. Okay! You start running so I can stab you in the back. Mercy! Good. Damn you! You can take me! I'll <laughs> raise a cup to your grave. Fuck me. I'll raise a cup to your grave. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I love that, that, like, the drunk voice just has its own drunk themed, like, combat <laughs> calls. <laughs> Are there any others that, like, have unique shit or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, one of the old people voices or whatever was like, 
<laughs> it looks like I outlived you after all, you little whippersnapper, or some shit like that. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Or like, <laughs> or like the creepy guy voice. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The fucking shifty, creepy dude voice is like, <laughs> as soon as they kill someone, like, oh, we're going to have so much fun with this body. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's go on out. Continue over here. Hopefully they don't respawn for a while. Shit, you, you know, we cleared them out. We didn't even check their treasures. Maybe we should. You know, let's see if they got anything good here. Probably not. Hey, maybe we'll find some salt. That'd be nice. Look, it's so fucked up here, we can't even take any salmon. Jeez. Alright. Barrel filled with green apples. Oh, that one's empty. Tomatoes. Garbage. Hypothetical treachery. Okay. Oh, here we are. Good. How does it work with having those fish up there like that? You know, I don't know anything about fish, but isn't that where you're supposed to put them when you just, like, caught them very recently and, like, you're getting ready to, uh, like, fillet them? Isn't that what that's for? Because, well, I don't know. Do you... Like, how does it work? Can you, like, dry out fish and then eat them? Right? Like, can you cure a fish? Like, how you make jerky and shit like that? Like, you rub it, rub salt on and you dry it on, like a, like, a jerky rack or whatever? Speaking purely from my experience having played Don't Starve. <laughs> right? I mean, you know, it sounds like a good idea, but also at the same time, you know, Lest we forget the value of just having a few crock pots up and running. <laughs> but for real, like, I, I don't know. I've never heard of fish being treated that way, but I guess I don't see why not. Right? Like, if you can cure, like, other meats, why not a fish? I don't know. Like, fuck, I guess waiting. you can even eat fish raw, you know, like, like uh, sushi or whatever. But, like, I don't know how that works. Like, what gets done to it that makes it safer? <laughs> like, I don't understand how it works, and it terrifies me. <laughs> okay. Something to report? Hey. Very good. Let's see what you have here. It's the Storm Club Interesting. documents. They know more of our plans than I expected. Oh, it shit. It would seem Fort Dunstad is in need of reinforcements. We'll make sure they won't be getting those. One moment while I correct some of these documents. That should do it. Make sure those forged documents get to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. It'll throw him off our trail, allowing us to maneuver more freely. Okay. Remind me, what am I supposed to do? Make sure those forged documents get to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. It'll throw him off our trail, allowing us to maneuver more freely. Okay. Yeah. Until next time. Sure. Who is this other person Maybe over this Maybe got up. Oh, it was probably just a guard doing, like, patrol or whatever. Okay. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only see, a matter there's the quartermaster. I think we got, like, a trash item to sell off. Yeah. You have anything good here now? A little time has passed. Nah. Okay. Yeah, Daedric Sword of the Inferno. Ditch that. Get rid of some of these arrows, too. Why not? How about over here? Get rid of one of these amulets. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, now let's head on back. All the way over here. And chat with their commander. You know, it seems unlikely right now, this whole commander fucking situation where we're, we're just able to so easily deceive them. But I don't know, maybe the Stormcloaks are just super duper prone to deception. You know, given the whole, like, Ulfric is, like, playing into the Thalmor's hands and shit. <laughs> Given that, like, like, what if there's other people manipulating the Stormcloaks as well? What if there's another party, you know? <laughs> what if all sorts of people are just involved in this? You know, like, the Volokar vampires are involved. Fucking, <laughs> fucking, like, House Hualu is somehow involved as well. Remember, they were a bit high-ranking. Fucking, why not, uh, what's his name? Mirak. Get him in here, too. Have him start pulling on the strings of the Stormcloaks. <laughs> they just become like a, a fucking PMC, right? It's like everybody's fighting their proxy wars with the fucking Stormcloak army. 
<laughs> They're just like having all their communique just intercepted nonstop. Like 90% of it is just faked bullshit from other people, completely unrelated. <laughs> Their entire network is just in non-stop disarray. <laughs> and they don't even know. They don't even know. <laughs> Good God. Okay. Let's head on over here. And let us check in at this commander person. Are they in, like, the main building? Yeah, I think so, as per usual, right? They typically are. There we go. Oh, sorry, kid. Watch out with your, like... Hot. Hey. Move it, move it! Oh, what's the hurry? I'm running food and supplies to the miners. All right, Don't yeah, we talked to you. But they let me sit by the fire in the inn most nights. I think the dialogue or whatever just weirded out. Yeah, I remember I'm your late. sad Gotta story. Run. Okay, let's head over here. Okay. And then. Oh Wait, my gosh! I know you. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Wait. Alright. I know you. You're making a mistake. The only mistake was you showing your face. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. Okay, but also, I'm the Jarl's Thane. I'm actually really cool. In fact, I'm so cool, I have this, like... Very important document that I got. Don't worry about my criminal record. Just just trust these documents. They're completely normal and unaltered. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Thane. I yeah, didn't that's, realize yeah. it was you. That's we right. looked the other way this time. But even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Okay, oh fuck. Think you might be in the wrong place, friend. No, I have important documents for you, sir. Right? I'm the Thane. I have all the important goods. Is that so? I don't recognize you. Why aren't you wearing your Stormcloak colors? <laughs> That's very funny. He says he doesn't recognize me right after he's like, I recognize you. <laughs> okay. I ditched it for this. Easier to sneak past the enemy. Haven't you heard of the scavengers, dude? Come on, Forkmar. <laughs> I suppose it would be. Good thinking. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. Ah, good. Looks like the reinforcements for the fort are on the way. And we have some information about enemy troop movements as well. Excellent. It's not easy running messages, what with Imperial scouts crawling all over the place. Well done. Why don't you grab yourself a drink at the Wind Peak before heading back? I'll take my leave then. Oh. Okay. Regain the pale. How the hell do I do that? Oh shit, Vincent Van Gogh. Oh. Vincent Van Gogh kind of moved. I'm here to lend my magic to the people of... Okay. So... Oh, we don't actually need to go get a drink or anything. Oh, we run back over to camp and we- do we just haul ass up in here? <laughs> is that- is that what's about to happen? Okay, we regain it by way of force? Or is it just going to occur? She's just like, alright, yeah, you did good. We should be able to take the pail back with little to no trouble. Maybe. Okay. Let's skedaddle on over this way. Neat. Head by the caravans. Lovely. Alright. Oh. What the hell? Oh my god! Tell you what, you start running <laughs> oh, Jesus! The they're back. killing Santa! <laughs> oh, shit. Let's dismount here so we can properly do this. Like there we go. Got you. Too bad there's no reactivity to your character and stuff like... <laughs> like, what if you were... <laughs> you know, they say that line and then you're just like... I am an old woman! <laughs> okay, there we go. That said, I, I do think... It feels as if Skyrim tends to be a bit better about, like, uh, your character's age being ambiguous, you know? I feel like a lot of role-playing games and stuff, your character is canonically, like, fairly young, and a lot of characters will address you as such, despite the fact that the character customization 100% lets you play 
like a pretty old looking character, you know? Like immediately what comes to mind is uh, Fallout 3, where your character is canonically like in your early 20s or late teens, something like that. And yet you can totally make your character look like you're in your 60s or 70s or 80s or even older and shit like that, you know? Okay, let's head on up here. I guess maybe, maybe you know what, you can just do some hand waving. It's magic, it's a mutation, <laughs> you know? Say it's some weird fantasy or sci-fi element that did it. It's an illusion. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Good. Oh my gosh. Good job. I knew I gave the mission to the right person. Wait, how'd you know I did it already? Just just me coming back here? What if I got kidnapped or like robbed along the way? The general and I have our disagreements, but he's the best hope for both the Empire and Skyrim. Okay, well I'm reporting for duty. Your objective is Fort Dunstad. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? I'm not sure. I need to think about it. That fort is as good as ours. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Absolutely. Let's head on out. The Battle of Fort Dunstad. Like if Rick has sent me to assist in taking Fort Dunstad from the enemy. Man, for such an important fort, I don't know fucking shit about it. Where the hell is it? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, this is it all the way out here. Oh. Right. Yeah, folks had written in about this too, I think. I kept mistaking it for one tied to Dawnguard because of its proximity to the Hall of the Vigilant, which is definitely part of Dawnguard. Okay. Here we are. Oh. Oh, shit. Ooh. If you don't have a fire here, we can just get warmed up at real quick. Hell yeah. Too bad we can't, like, superheat Metal Mabel. And then that just, like, warms us up even longer and all that, you know? Hell yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, we should probably drop our own custom marker. So I don't accidentally follow it like a complete fucking bungo. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Oh, uh, I can't wait. Speaking of Fallout 3, can't wait until we get to the Fallout 3 playthrough. And I just, <laughs> we will probably say the word Mungo a shitload. <laughs> right? Good lord. And any other playthrough that is going on at the same time. Fuck, for all I know, Skyrim will still be going on. You know, fuck, I, I have no idea. <laughs> but whatever is going on then, the Mungo will seep in just as well. Oh, look, there's also some sort of barrow up ahead. Should we check out the weird barrow as well? Uh, maybe. Maybe we should. Oh, God, there's all sorts of weird shit. Oh, no, wait, that's the Hall of the Vigilant. Okay. All right. There's the Alftond or whatever elevator. So where's the barrow? Is it up top or... Ah, there it is. Right at the foot of the hill or mountain. Somebody yelling for something. Okay. Oh shit, this person has a name. Isa Black Thorn or Horn? Yeah. Kier's Bounty? What? Kill Isa and Rajir on sight. A hundred gold to whoever brings me their heads. Spread the word, Kier. Oh my gosh, they're a pirate. <laughs> okay. Death awaits you. Whoa. Oh, they're babies. Where's your friend, Isa? Who in Dagon's name are you? Speak, or I'll cut you down where you stand. In Dagon's name? Whoa, what's going on here? Let's just see about that. What's going on here? Oh, I was part of the gang in the ruins here. Friend of mine went crazy and stole the boss's sword. They blamed me for it. Look, I'm done here. Mop the floor with these idiots for all I care. Just get out of my way. Oh, you don't want to join me on a 
fun, high-flying adventure? You seem like you would be perfect. <laughs> okay. Optional. Learn more about the theft. Whoa. Oh, shit. The Pale Lady? Not to be confused with the Pale Lady from Oblivion Land. How do I learn more about the theft? Is it inside? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Okay. Sure. Jeez. Should we go to Fort Dunstad first, though? Or... <laughs> this is apparently, like, kind of an involved mission. You know what? Yeah, let's just run over to Fort Dunstad. We'll do a quick uh, quelling of the rebel forces and all that. It'll be all good. No problem. All right. Where's Metal Mabel at now? Oh, there she goes. Oh, there's Metal Mabel. Wonderful. Okay. Because notice... Our rendezvous point with the Imperial Legion here is on the exterior of the world, whereas the other one was like, oh yeah, go inside, you know? That's my reasoning for doing this. Pay no attention to the massive burning fucking Hall of Vigil or whatever. <laughs> Don't worry about all the screams, the blood smeared everywhere, the vampires and bats flying out of it. <laughs> Don't worry about any of that. People like throwing garlic up there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it later. <laughs> all right. Good, good, good. Let's head over this way. Fort Dunstop. Perfect. There's some sort of bogey out here, too. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, how do we get in from here? Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, shit, there's a sniper lord up top. Okay. Alright. There we go. Yeah! Storm the gates! Oh, shit. Sorry, Metal Mabel. Sorry, I was in the attack animation. Scream that dude off of there. Oh shit, did they go inside? Or did they just get knocked over? Oh. Okay, there we go. Smack that. Jeez, there sure are a bunch of people. Look, there's a horse as well getting in on the action. <laughs> okay. Whew, fuck. Alright, let's heal up a bit here. I cannot best you. Killed you with a shield bash. Is this horse peace loving? Or is this a fucking horse in service to the storm cloak? Dickheads. Oh shit, I'm a little, a little tired. Let's get some healing going on. Man, look at our one-handed flying through the fucking roof, baby. Okay. This is probably the perfect arc to prestige our shit to, by the way. Feels... Feels that way, at least. Should we be checking their bodies, or are they just gonna have generic, like, strong cloak garbage? My gosh, look at this. I feel like there should be some sort of, like, wild-ass siege music or whatever, but, uh... You know, this is cool, too. <laughs> there we are. A little, a little hungry. So I'm just gonna chow down a little salmon. So can I run you off the side? Oh, sorry, Koznak. Oh! Oh, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at them all pour out of here, huh? Okay, you know what? Here, it's time for some delicious soup. Not hot potato, but vegetable soup. <laughs> Because, of course, remember, our current weapon, as cool of an artifact as it may be, it lacks the stamina-restoring properties of our old one. Oh, don't kill me! Oh, no! I've been smote! I've been smote! <laughs> I got too cocky! Oh, shit. I've been fucking smote! <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking... Oh, fuck. All right. Fucking two-handed Tammy over there. Ripping my ass up. Okay. 
<laughs> Shit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look, we can just skip all the dialogue. Man, it's been a while since we've been killed, huh? It's been a while. All right, gets the adrenaline going. <laughs> okay. Man, fucking A. How fucking careless we have gotten in our ways. See, look, it's probably a good thing that we did the, the whole, like, respec and all that. It's made- it's produced some threats. You won't get the first line. There's no place here. Shit. Let's get power attacks rolling. Okay. Good. That's the best you can do. It's what you want, huh? A little serpent slinger from behind. Oh shit, are there actually two of them? There are. Oh, yeah. I guess it's all clear <laughs> No problem, Santa. There we are. Good. And then... Yeah, where'd Metal Mabel go to? I can't believe Metal Mabel is so easily frightened. There you are. Boom! Okay. Great. Let's just go directly for our our goal here, Fort Dumstad. <laughs> Man, I can't believe we got fucking rocked. Jeez, fucking Tammy rocked our whole damn world. Oh my god. With the execution, like, head slam jam 500 as well. Jeez, it's been so long since that's happened to us. It makes perfect sense, though, that two-handed user would totally obliterate us. Oh, I wish I had, like, I wish there was, like, a stat sheet on what our deaths have been to. I feel like maybe two-handed uses are got to be, like, near tied now with dragons executing us, right? Okay. There we go. Good. Can any other creatures execute players, or is Good it just job. dragons and humanoids? Right something to report? Yep, Your reporting objective. for duty. Meet the yep. soldiers. Uh huh. I'll Hello? do it. Soldier? I'm up to it. The fort is as I good as ours. Absolutely. You, there we go. Good. And oh shit, we gotta make sure we're tracking it. Perfect. And let's haul ass. Okay. And you know what? We know it was a rough location of this other dungeon. We can get back to it no problem, though. The little barrow or whatever. Oh, look at Vincent Van Gogh out here. Just going for a, a stroll through the snow drifts. Have you heard about these, like, these big snow plains and shit where the wind will blow in a certain way to where, like, it causes, like, naturally forming, like, snowballs and shit. You ever hear about that? It looks so wild. Oh, shit. Snow bears. Going buck wild. There we go. Gotcha. Some other ice wraith out here, but, you know, who can find them? Not me. Fuck that. Alright. Oh, shit. The mammoths and giants are chilling pretty close by. Okay. Over this way. Stow our weapon. I don't know if we go faster on horseback by stowing it, but we get a bit of a better camera angle at the very least. Alright. Oh, beautiful. Imagine how nice it would be if, if, as we went by the the trees, the snow brushed off and everything. Holy shit. Oh, hey, look at them all out here. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, the Stormcloaks ain't got AoEs. Oh, look, we were actually meant to talk to them? Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Sure. There we are. Good. 
How come we ain't got any trebuchets and shit? Not worth it for this one? Well, because, like, even if we didn't want to cause any damage to the stonework and all that so we could retake it and use it for our own purposes, which, <laughs> knowing the Imperial Legion, I doubt they want that. <laughs> right? But... We could fill the, the, like, catapults and shit with fire and burn them out. Shit like that, you know? Okay, bring you down. Good. Keep ourselves topped off. Alright. Man, how many are you up in here, huh? There's gotta be a lot of them. If that's 90% already. Or just 90% already, I should say. Is this a peace-loving horse? It is. Okay. Shit, yeah, let's get our food going as well. Great. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, our body count must be really high. They're despawning as soon as they fall over. Okay. Don't even get a chance to loot them. Some of that going on too. It's always fun. A little necromancy too. Look, you know, the Empire not too keen on necromancy. Except when it's on their side. <laughs> right. Oh god. Were you already a zombie? Death not like that. Alright. Good stuff. Just what are you trying to shoot up there? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's rain and storm cloaks. They fighting each other? <laughs> Look! There's descent in their own ranks. Oh my gosh. We'll recruit you. Oh no wait, you you Wow, this is my uh my zombie, okay. I didn't even see any of the, like, purple. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Oh, fuck! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Good. Let's see from here. And... Just a few more, right? Okay. Cool. Jeez, they are really pouring out there. Do we actually have to go inside too and like take out their captain or some shit? Oh my gosh, look at this chaos here. Oh fuck, I tried to quick save. <laughs> too many character models, the game is buckling. <laughs> okay. Yo, look at Vincent Van Gogh go. Jeez, it's amazing there's not more friendly fire. Here. Especially with people using, like, slashing swords. This is the benefit to having people using, like, spears and stuff in wars. You're a lot less likely to actually, actually, or accidentally, like, slash up your own people and all that. I guess he can poke with a sword, but if you're gonna do poking, may as well have like a spear or something, right? Okay. Well, I think we've done it. They're on the retreat. We got our little update. Okay. Wasn't paying attention to what the update was, though. Oh, report to Tullius for it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we didn't even have to fight like their captain or whatever.
tracking someone over here. Are they outside? Did I, like, scream them off the ramparts? Huh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at all the fucking legionaries chasing after this one person. Where the hell are they going? Oh, my gosh. They're going like a million miles away. Oh, and there's someone here too, inside of the ash pile or what the heck? Yeah, weird. Okay. Should we go inside? Yeah, let's check it out. See what's up. I don't remember how this works. Like if we had come here beforehand. Would there have been storm cloaks here, or... Yeah, there must have been, because look, it's listed as stealing. Okay. Gotcha. So it wouldn't have been, like, overrun by bandits, and that just gets filled with storm cloaks for the purpose of the quest arc. There's storm cloaks here, no matter what. Okay. Oh, money. There we go. Good. Should we rest here while we have the opportunity, or maybe not? Oh shit, loads of free salmon. Oh my gosh! Jesus! Vincent Van Gogh, you made me, like, poo. Okay. Let's go on over here. What have we got? Oh yeah. More free money. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, a hat. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like a chunk of raw, like, malachite or some shit. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> oh, look at all this. A lot of peculiar potions over here. I'll take a few of them. Okay, anything else? Oh, the shit room. Okay. I don't like that when they're shitting and all of that. They're reading children's books. <laughs> What's up with that? Right? It's the children's version of the Anuad. What? <laughs> okay. And they got the potion of true shot. Is that like, you know, if you're jacking it? Or is it like if you're trying to like blast a turd right into the poop bucket? I guess it could be construed as either, you know? Just another fun aspect of the Elder Scrolls' <laughs> storytelling, you know? It's open to interpretation. Was the true shot potion for, like, cum shots, or was it for just, like, blasting a turd off at high speeds? Who can say? All right, well. They are still locked onto this person who's, like, become one with the structure. I think. Unless they're actually out here hiding. But I don't think that's the case. Or maybe they're locked onto the person who's still running away. <laughs> it could be that. It could very well be that. Okay. Now let's go on over here. Oh, not too close to this place, though. Hey, Kosnek. Are you also on the hunt? I think you were. But yeah, let's go over here to this weird bandit place. Involving the pale light. Man, I'm telling you, someone at fucking BGS who's doing these side quests, they must really like the concept of the pale lady and being like a spooky person. <laughs> or all that, right? I wonder if they even remembered that they put it in oblivion. Surely they remembered. What if it was two people, right? What if it was two different people? What if it wasn't the same person? And they're just like, oh my god, you you took my idea, the pale lady, I put her in Oblivion. You can't have the pale lady in Skyrim. They <laughs> they gotta put a pale lady into fucking Elder Scrolls 6. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, the bounty, bring me their heads, spread the word. Okay. They'll put a pale lady into Starfield. Did you see, by the way, in the new video? I don't know. 
don't know how many times you watched and slowed it down, but, uh, fucking adoring fan is gonna be in there. There's going to be some- OH, no. YO! <gasps> Fuck yes, Koznak! Did you see it? He fucking suplexed that motherfucker. Is that what that was? Oh, hell yes. Fuck yes! Oh, it was worth it to Who die in Dagon's name are you? Speak, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Wait, what's going on here? Uh, I was. Look, I'm okay. done here. Mop the floor. With I'm gonna the mop the floor. I... Just get out of my way. Okay. Good. Anything else around here? A stolen sword. Can I keep an eye out for that? Partially buried urn. Okay. Can we warm up on this one? Yeah, we can. Okay. We'll get warmed up to maximum health and then we'll head inside because I don't know whether or not the interior will be like warmed up or whatever, you know? Okay. That's good enough. Frostmere Crypt. But Isa? She's smarter than that. Roger was always dragging her into things. <sighs> Stealing the boss's sword? He have a death wish? Who knows? The cat was crazy. She was a fool to trust her. Oh, were they lovers? Okay. Very cool. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have uh do I have quiet casting and all that yet? Shit. What's it even listed under? I don't even know. Shit. I have no idea. I have no idea what quiet casting is listed under. Is it alteration, maybe? I don't think so. No. Okay. Maybe it's destruction. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Where is quiet casting at? Is it restoration somehow? Avoid death? <laughs> I should have had that. Wait, is this it over here? Shit. You know what? I am going to take avoid death. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been nice if I had it. Okay, hang on. We do need- I do want quiet casting right now. I would love it so much. Do I actually already have it? Somehow? No way. Oh, here it is. Okay. Awesome. Hang on, can I take their meat and shit? Oh fuck! What was that? Saw me pull that ace out of my boot. I'm getting out. He didn't notice the fucking poop bucket go flying out, but the mead. Okay. Shit, we really must be in Skyrim, huh? What are you doing? He cannot best you. Okay. Good. Do they have anything interesting on them? Ooh, a black soul gem. Holy shit. Okay. Four gold. Oh, some salt. Very useful. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Wow, even more salt. Eh, tomatoes. Okay. Sure. And then, how about over in this little area? Tomatoes. We'll just munch on them. There we are. And what's inside of this? Ultimate stamina and a smidgen of gold. 
Some snowberries, sacks filled with red apples. No, thank you. Oh, hell yeah, salt. Okay. Oh, the bounty again. They really are trying to spread the word. What, they got like a whole fucking printing press in here or what? Let's take that. Okay. Good. All right. Huh. Nice little lantern decoration going on. That's the loop around. Okay. I love the secret magic line. I think it might be my favorite ambient what? dialogue from bandits and shit. Kerr's orders. Nobody goes in or out until he gets back. Or the boss will skin you as soon as he's done with Regier. Gods, what a mess. Huh. Did that other person who was talking have a name? Oh shit. Okay. I'll try and make you ah. wait. Enough of this! Ah. Dude, I hope we get to see Cosmac do like another fucking suplex or whatever the fuck. Okay. Ugh. What else we got here? Eh, nothing much. Let's top ourselves off. Pick into this. There we are. <laughs> it's a little room for grinding your fucking weapon up a bit. Okay. <laughs> sure. Elven helmet. Yeah, weird. It's just a little room devoted to it. How bizarre. Also, some dragon plate insulated boots. I guess I'll take them. Sure. All right. What's our stealth at again? The Red Kitchen Reader. I think I'm gonna need that in the future, right? The boss went down there? Did they? Yeah, he's after Regia. Never seen him so angry. I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's just felt wrong down there lately. Now you're sounding as crazy as the cat. Hang on, can we scare them? Going on about the pale lady now. Ooh, I'm a ghost! Did you hear something? <laughs> it's the ghost! <laughs> we're, we're like the guy outside of Iverstead. <laughs> God, we need that. We need some more of those potions and shit. <laughs> it's me! The pale lady! <laughs> there we are. Hey, do I still have that fucking potion? I might even have it. I don't remember if I stashed it or not. Let's see. I probably stashed it, but maybe. Nah, yeah, I stashed it. All right. I don't think I don't think it would actually have an effect. <laughs> Could you imagine though? There's like a weird like strange scenario where they actually made it to where it recognizes if you've got that. <laughs> okay, over here. Some potatoes. Good. Take all this. Great. Anything else? Or too bad you can't, like, conjure a ghost or whatever. Ooh. Kier's log. Frost me a crypt. Week 12. What a disaster. We haven't seen a caravan in a week. We actually lost ground in the tunnels. Thal and his team were crushed when they... When their section collapsed. I've heard word of a mutiny. If next week isn't any better. Ellipses. <laughs> Frost me a crypt. Week 13. Two new recruits. Isa and Rajir. Girl said she did time in Sidna Mine. Down in Markarth. And it shows... She's got more experience than all of us put together. I've put her in charge of the dig. Cat's good with a blade, so I've sent him topside with the raiders. 
Frostmere Crip Week 14. Tunnel's going well. Isa made our first big find just yesterday. Buried chest with a couple hundred gold. Topside, Regia and his team have hit five merchants this week. In and out. Faster than the guard could respond. Looks like things are finally going my way. Frostmere Crypt, week 15. The tunnel broke out into some kind of giant cavern. It's, it's Blackreach. <laughs> there, there's a whole forest down there. Found a nice sword. Whoa, a whole forest, huh? Found a nice sword all laid out on some kind of monument and everything. But this is just strange. Eerie. What is this place? Not like any tomb I've ever seen. Frostmere Crypt. Week 16. I think the cat's gone crazy. All of a sudden he can't keep- he can't focus. Keeps muttering to himself. He's gone from our best raider to our worst botched two jobs. To our worst botched two jobs just today. Ice is trying to cover for him, but she's not fooling anyone. Lately he keeps asking to see my sword, begging to borrow it. Like I'll let him get his paws on it. It's beautiful. Perfectly balanced. Better than any I've ever held. Sure he can have it. Right in the gut. <laughs> Damn, you tell him, Kyre. Kier. Okay. Sure. Got your own poop bucket in here and everything. Alright. What have you got? You got anything? Potion of the Warrior. A little bit of money. Oh look, an insulated dragon plate helmet. Wow, are we gonna find the whole set in here? Got some green apples, lunch on them. Bed rolls if we need them. We might actually end up needing them. I don't know, we might get tired here very shortly. In fact, you know what? <clears throat> yeah, let's use at least the bed or a bed roll. While we have the chance. Because I don't know how long the rest of this dungeon is actually going to be. Let's go for 12 hours. There we go. Huh. Gordon found us some moonstone ore. Two of them. Thank you, Gordon. Okay. What else have we got? Hmm. Got a sack over here. Holy shit, this place is rich with salt. All right, a standard wooden door. They got like a kiln going on here. They're making some pizzas. <laughs> okay. Never do another span in that stinking jail. I die and give myself up. Huh? You up by yourself, yeah? Die from me. Hang on, I want the sneak attack. Hang on, Koznak. Knock him over this way. Knock him over this way. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Good. Remember, hit the one in the middle. Good. I swear I'll kill you. Oh, we're not even detected by this person? Let's see, what have have anything good. Well, look at that. 25 Daedric arrows. Not really our thing, though. Where are you? I knew I'd find you. This oh, did you find me? You. Hang on, have you... Have you Have you found me? I think she found me. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's see. Anything there? Nah. Okay. Let's check the rest of this room before I forget. We might end up calling it here just as well. Because like I said, I have no idea how expansive this may be. Because evidently, there's a whole forest down there. Okay. Anything else over here? I'm not sure if I've actually done this one or not. I don't really remember it, but it's possible. I've just forgotten. Okay. Yeah, we've checked it all. All right. Yeah. You know what? Seems like a good plan to me. When next we come back, we will head deeper into Frostmere Crypt and we'll uncover some sort of sword. Oh, Frostmere Crypt. 
and the sword, the pale lady. Well, I don't know about the pale lady situation, but a sword. Maybe it's speaking to them. Is this is this like a fucking Warcraft three Easter egg or whatever? Is that what this is going on about? Is this like Frostmourne? I don't know. All right. Well, either way, when next we come back, we're going to figure it out one way or another. Until next time, please take care of each other.